Hey y'all, whether you're an avid listener already or want to make your own podcast like me, Anchor is the easiest way to get started. Let me tell you about it. It's free. You can record and edit your podcast directly from your phone or computer. Anchor will do all the heavy lifting and distribute your podcast for you to major platforms such as Spotify and Apple Podcasts. You can even make money from your podcast. Yes, you can secure the bag with no minimum listenership. It's everything you need to make a podcast all in one place. Download the free Anchor app or go to anchor.fm to get started. Hey y'all, welcome back. My name is Erica. Wait, that's not my intro. Huh? <laughs> Yo, my brain is gone. Anyway, we're going to pretend that didn't happen. Hi, my name is Erica, your host, and today's episode... See, I messed up again. I didn't say my title. Welcome. Wait, no, what do I say? Thank you for clicking on this episode of Pages for My Notebook, a true-to-life podcast. My name is Erica, your host, and today's episode (laughs) is full of me making mistakes, but I'm trying not to edit this because... I honestly don't have time. I really feel like I don't have time to be recording this right now, but it's one in the morning on a Sunday, so I decided to take some time and talk to you all. Today's episode is just a little tiny extra, which is full of some mantras, manifestations, affirmations, whatever you want to call them, that are all about building resilience and having hope during tough times. 2020, this online semester transferring to Zoom University involuntarily has taken a toll on everybody, especially students. We're up against a lot of extra stress, a lot of uncertainty, which is, of course, the main cause of anxiety if yours is future-based like mine is. In this situation, we often doubt ourselves. We don't know if we're moving the right way, if we're doing the right thing. We see other people doing things but we know that they're not the right thing. But if other people are doing it, is it right? There are things that other people are having. Other people, it looks like they're still thriving and having fun during a global pandemic. And we're over here struggling. So it makes us question, why are we doing what we're doing? Are we doing the right thing? Are we missing out on something that we could be having way more fun and not worrying, but then at the cost of our well-being and putting others at risk or being in danger? I've honestly felt really, really overworked and overwhelmed. In this past semester, I thought that working from home and having everything be online and be able to quote unquote use my resources, wink, wink, nudge, nudge on assignments would make them easier. But it's been way more difficult than I thought. I live alone, so I don't have that camaraderie that I've had before with roommates or just being able to go to club meetings physically and speak to people because we know how awkward Zoom can be when two people are trying to talk and then you're like, oh no, you go ahead. And then you start talking or someone's silent then two people start again. It's just the whole thing. It's different than actually talking to people and being in person. But I know for me and probably for a lot of other people that when they're alone, they just get overwhelmed and they feel like they have to handle everything themselves and they don't want to bother other people with their problems because of course, everybody's life has been changed in some way. Everyone is going through their own stuff. But the thing I've learned is that the people that you've connected yourself with are there because you all support each other or lean on each other or gain something or give something to each other in some way, shape, or form. So especially in these times of turmoil and uncertainty and everything like that, we have to lean on our networks even more than before. And even through sharing your problems, you can help someone feel less alone in theirs and then you can both help each other out and not have to suffer in silence. We love to suffer together. (laughs) Friends that suffer together grow together. Yeah, does that work? So I have these affirmations broken down into a few categories, so I'll read them now, and I'll read them before I start each new one, so you all know where we're at, and you can take what you need from each category. So, they are as follows. I will. It is okay. I deserve. What is and I am. So if these sound of interest to you, just keep on listening. Everything I want is on the other side of doubt, uncertainty, and the fear of failing. I will. I will not give up. I will not quit. 
I will honor and respect my limits. I will not push myself past the point of well-being. I will take care of my home. I will take care of my body, mind, and spirit. I will develop healthy routines. I will rest. I will manifest. I will plan accordingly and have no expectations. I will stand up for myself. I will always remain in control of my feelings. I will walk towards what feels right. I will let myself be. Just be. It is okay. It is okay to feel bad. It is okay to feel overwhelmed. It is okay to stop. It is okay to ask for help. It is okay to cry. It is okay to want to feel joy. It is okay to let myself rest. I deserve. I deserve respect. I deserve to have nice things. I deserve rewards for my hard work. I deserve care and affection. I deserve peace. I deserve rest. I deserve respect. I deserve kindness. I deserve success. I deserve to treat myself as I would treat others. I deserve to feel love. I deserve to set boundaries. I deserve to feel free. What is? What is right for me will come to me. What is not for me will teach me a lesson. I am. I am capable. I am strong. I am resilient. I am vulnerable. I am open. I am kind. I am doing the best that I can. I am prioritizing my self-care. I am handling situations the best way I know how. I am growing. I am learning. I am open to making mistakes. I am open to trying new things. I am open to changing old patterns and behaviors. I am open to change. I am open to growth. I am open to healing. I am worthy of love. I am worthy of happiness. I am worthy of rest. I am worthy. So I hope these were helpful or you think they can help someone else or you just like to hear words being spoken. I don't know. (laughs) That was sort of my little narrator voice. Did you like it? I hope so. (laughs) But yeah, I hope there's something you could take from these or someone somewhere out there can take something. Nothing more, nothing less. Just good words, good vibes. Hopefully you receive them and other people will too. Thank you so much for listening, and I hope to have you listening again soon.